Hey guys, you're back with Welcome to the K. I'm Shine with Sun. Please introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Rodrigo Jiki, originally from Cameroon, Africa. I recently graduated from Conestoga College, studied finance, and I live in Kitchener, Waterloo. And I just opened up a clothing brand. What's your clothing brand called? Keys also. Why did you decide to make a clothing brand? I mean, um, Way back then, like when I was 14 years old, I, um, I was in boarding school and um, during that time, it was all about hustle. So um, I was um, in class at that particular time and I knew exactly when the van had to leave to go to like a shopping store and that was the only store in boarding school. So I knew exactly the time in which the van was going to bring the food over to the store. So sometimes I'm going to sneak out of the class to like go help those guys to take the food from the van to the store. And doing that, I will like get some cash and pay those guys. I'm like, yo, get this cash, yo. I want to help you guys, you know. So sometimes I'll take some food stuffs from there, put it in the back and get to class. And everybody's just looking at me like, wow, I want to have that. So sometimes I'll sell triple the price. And during that time, we had like a fashionable party that was going on every year. And this is back home right now. Yeah, okay. back home, yeah. So I was designing suits for some of the members in that party. So then I realized that, oh wow, I know exactly what I want to do. I want to sell clothes. So that's how I decided to have a clothing brand. That's amazing. So it all started when you were 14. Yeah. That's amazing. Is there any significance to your name that you decide? So yeah. Keith Hustle. Keith Hustle is everything. I mean, people live with Keith Hustle every single day of their lives. But maybe they don't just know the term Keith Hustle. I mean, having to live every single day to try to achieve your life goals. Having to get up every single morning to think about how you want to achieve something very big in life. It must not necessarily mean like a life plan, but you can like decide to, hey, I want to go to school. I want to study. Then you decide that, hey, education is the key to success. That's true. So whatever anybody is going through personally, like they really want to achieve something, then they, during that time, you make your plans that, hey, I really want to achieve these things. If you don't make your plans, you find yourself going around in circles. So during this particular time, you're always like trying to make that plan to try to achieve that goal. So you need that key to achieve. So while you're trying to hustle to get that key, it sums up to key is hustle. That's true, because like, I feel like I always hear the quote, keep hustling, keep grinding. Yeah. Sometimes when people listen to the word hustle, they think it's all about money, but it's not all about money. It's, it's like doing what you love. That's, exactly. what I, that's what I think. I don't even think about money. I just like think of like, you know, doing what you love. You yeah. Keep, that's what I think about hustling. And, yeah. then, and then busy life too. That's what I think when I'm hearing about hustling. Yeah. Yeah. It's everything. What does your clothing brand have to offer? I mean, we have so many opportunities out there. Given the fact that I'm from Cameroon, Africa, we are working on donating some clothes to some um, young students in Cameroon. We are trying to give them um, different opportunities. We are trying to spread the message to different people for them to understand exactly what is going on. Even though they are going through struggles in life, there are so many people who are close to giving up in life because maybe um, they realize that there's nothing else that life has to offer because they have been working hard so many times and they feel like, wow, nothing is showing up. But they tend to forget that during that time of them giving up, they are close to succeeding. So we always try to spread that message out there that, hey, don't give up. No matter what, you're close to success and you can do it. You just have to be determined and you just have to plan to make it. And you're definitely going to get there. 
You just have to have a positive mind to push yourself to do whatever you want to do. And the mind has so much power and you can use your mind or your brain to do whatever you want to do. And you can definitely achieve that. I agree. Because like, if you're in a negative mindset and you're always putting yourself down, you won't get to where you want to yeah. be, where you're like your goals of your mindset like you won't be able to do that exactly how do you believe that your clothing brand is going to help other people achieve their dreams because of the message that we spread we spread so much positivity and when you spread positivity you can attract positivity so we tend to let people know that it's not just about the clothes that we sell but the message that we give others so that they can be able to understand exactly what this message is all about. So if you put on the brand, sometimes that brand can make you remember exactly what your struggles were. Because sometimes when you listen to music, for example, and you might be going through a very tough time, sometimes when you listen to the music, you feel like that music is talking to you, like you can relate to the music because of what the artist is talking about. That's what we want our brand to represent, to be able to touch others so that they can be able to understand exactly what the brand is all about. What do you like to do in your free time when you're not working on your clothing brand? Um, I like to play soccer a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it. In the fashion world, what do you think, like, what type of fashion do you think we've been having this year? Mm, oh, wow. Um, like, related to the brand? Yeah, related to, or even just in general. I think, like, 90s, early 2000s fashion's coming back right now, but that's just me. Yeah, I think the fashion industry is changing. It's, it's not the same as it was, like, 10 years ago. Like, it's more, like, having to show how sexy you are, you know, like it's more creative because you have so many fashion industries out there. So everybody is trying to be very creative to do something that nobody has ever done. And Kiss also is all about creativity. So um, we are trying to release some new fashionable outfits probably like in two weeks from now. I hear a sneak peek of that. Like, is it like could be like jeans or like sweaters? Cause my sweaters. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be releasing our crew next. Uh, we're gonna release um, another hoodie. It happened to be 100% polyester, and it has like some stripes on the sleeves, and, and it's pretty cool. I can't wait to show everybody. Can I get a picture behind the scenes? Yeah, for sure. Can I see a picture behind the scenes? Definitely. Yeah. So that's kind of like what's launching. That you said that, that that's a second collection. So that's what's launching. This that's the second collection. The third collection right now is um, it's about half of my. That looks yeah. really. Nice. I would probably wear something like that too, like every yeah. day. Like it's pretty cool. It's like, really cool. You have the like, keys and you have the whole way. It's simple and like classy because I yeah. find like even like clothing stores like. Sometimes like Urban Planet or even like the bigger name brands like Champion or Puma, they kind of go too much in, you know, yeah. they go too crazy on it. It's like, why can't you just do something like simple and nice and you exactly, know? Exactly, yeah. The reason why we launched the first brand, Kiss Hustle, is because we wanted people to be familiar with the name Kiss Hustle, to understand the message behind Kiss Hustle, to go through the website and check what Kiss Hustle is all about before having to release like our logo and everything. So we have so many designs that we are trying to work on and with time we're gonna be able to release everything for everybody to see what Kiss also is all about. What is your overall um, goal for your clothing brand? Growth. Pardon? Growth. Um, try to experience growth. Um, I'm just focused on expanding to um, different continents so um, in two months we're gonna open up a store in Cameroon Africa and we are currently working with some retail. what's your overall goal 
Well, my overall goal is to um, be able to supply to so many continents. So we recently are working with some retailers in Cameroon. So we are going to supply some of our clothes or merchandise to some stores in Cameroon. And we are currently working with some retailers in Belgium, Europe, to supply some of our clothes there. But we are still trying to negotiate on the deals and everything. It's amazing. Yeah. Are you looking to get any like influencers or music like artists to promote your brand? Yeah. We're working on a lot. Like we have a lot of projects that we are currently working on. And currently we have um, Poco. He happened to be um, a Cameroonian artist based in the States, New York, and he released um, a song called Heritage. It's a hit, like, it has over 55,000 views right now, and it got released like a couple of days back. You should show me the song off the I should, camera. Definitely, yeah. So then we don't get copyright yeah. if it's like a big hit. <laughs> yeah. We have um, another artist called Molly. He's based in Kitchener. I know so many haven't heard of him. And, um, he just released um, a, a video like a couple of days back. Yeah, he's really good too. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Who's your like fashion inspiration or your fashion icon? Like you worship this person? Um, that's a tough one because I have a lot of fashion designers that I really look up to. I like top Louis five. Vuitton, okay, top five. Ralph Lauren, Gucci, Paul Smith. Um, Moschino. Moschino. Versace actually. Take Moschino out and put Versace. That's some good name brand. Yeah. What's your quote that you live by every day? Live to succeed. Live to succeed. That's a good quote. Yeah. What fashion brand would you love to work with? Like you can be locally, like East high Coast class. Lifestyle. Pardon? East Coast Lifestyle. Where's that? Um, it's a very popular brand based in Prince Edward Island. I haven't heard of them. They're very good. They're very good. Like that's like one of the biggest brands right now in Canada. Um, they collaborated with the beer company, they collaborated with the watch company, and they have a lot of fans. They are very good. And look up to them, actually. What are your 2020 goals? Uh, to be able to touch a lot of people this year, to be able to uh, reach out to people, with the message that Keys also is all about. We want to be able to tell people what we are all about and we want people to understand exactly what we are all about. It's not just about selling clothes, but for people to relate to the message that we are trying to spread and hope that, you know, that we definitely touch the lives of the people that we are trying to spread the message to. I really feel like you're going to achieve your goals that you want to achieve this year. I hope so too. Where can fans follow you? Um, Keys Hustle. You can check us on uh, Instagram or on Facebook at Keys Hustle Clothing. Or you can check on um, the website which is keyshustle.ca. Well, go, guys, go check out his clothing brand. Thank you for being on. Welcome to the key today. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, I'm pressing the phone button. You didn't have oh thank you so much. This is okay. Oh okay, I love I live in sweaters. I honestly live in sweaters. This is really nice. It's let me let me show the audience. It's Key's house. Okay, it's gonna be backwards. This is really nice. Sorry. <coughs> I hope I'm not getting oh, there's a t-shirt as well. Keys Hustle. I will for sure promote this, probably wear this tonight. 
keep me warm. Thank you so much again. Thank you.